Hey, I'm excited about this pack. This week we are exploring the Rhone Valley and the Rhone Valley is my absolute favorite red wine producing region in France. The Rhone Valley is divided into two sections. It's called the Northern Rhone and the Southern Rhone, but this week we're gonna focus on the Southern Rhone. It is a sun-drenched area. It is really feels Mediterranean in both the wine style and also in the climate of this area. And we're exploring a region called the Cote de Rhone. The Cote de Rhone is, uh, I guess you can say, like the most important region in the Southern uh, Rhone Valley. And this is a grape called Grenache. You've probably heard me sing the praises of Grenache. If you like Grenache, it's a grape that's similar to Pinot Noir in texture and in um, flavor. However, maybe a little bit more ripe in, in its fruit. And then there's a grape called Syrah. And Syrah is a smoky, peppery, like olive-y, bacon kind of style of wine. And these two grapes really blend well together. So most of these wines in this pack are a blend. However, two are made from a single grape. So you have two classic Rhone blend, blends, and then you have one Grenache and one Syrah, which are 100%. I can't wait for you to explore this pack with me. Okay, this is Jean-Louis. It's a Cote de Rhone um, wine. On the appellation, um, that means a place. And so on the label, you see the, la the name Cote de Rhone. However, this family is located in a region called Chateauneuf du Pape. Chateauneuf du Pape is perhaps another of the most common um, or most well known, I should say, of the Rhone Appalachians because in the 1300s it was um, Pope Clement V that brought um, the, the home of the, the Papal home from Rome to Avignon. So it really became famous. And this is a blend of 85 Grenache, 10 Syrah, and about 5% more Vedra, which is one of the other important Cote de Rhone grapes. So we sometimes call these blends GSM, Grenache, Syrah, more Vedra. There's a ton of grapes that can be used in Cote de Rhone. So this one, I think you could really see the color. That's typical Grenache, that garnet hue and um, a little bit more transparent. You can't really read through it, um, but it's not opaque. On the nose, it's that almost like tomato water. You know, the sun-dried tomatoes, the savory quality, that herb de Provence, you know, basil, fresh lavender, um, rosemary, just these really unbelievable green herbs. Like, almost smells like a tomato sauce. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> That's like light bodied but full of flavor, the texture is silky, there's a little bit of minerality or stones and rocks like you feel when you go to Chateau Neuf du Pop you might see these huge stones, they're called galets, they're pudding stones and they retain heat. You can almost feel like this riverbed, the rocky stony minerality so not a very fruity or um, you know juicy ripe style, this one is really restrained and a little bit more earthy. Okay, now we're going to try Domaine Fon Croze. This is a 100% Syrah from a Ludi. A Ludi just means a named place. In this case, this is Syrah that is grown in a northwest facing slope. And the Syrah color is a lot different than that of Grenache. It's more of an opaque color. You can't really read through it this dark purple color. There's even some staining on the glass, so like if you swirl the glass side to side, you can see a little color. When you smell this wine, it's more of a savory quality. The first smell I get is smoked bacon. There's olive, there's lavender, there's like a black plum, black cherry. But it really smells spicy. Um, and then that's a classic nose of Syrah, that olive and lavender and bacon. Perfect for grilling with burgers or having with um, steak. It's just a little bit more hearty um, than the Grenache grape. When you take a sip, you'll notice it has more body. The body is more medium, medium plus, and savory, almost like um, more wild uh, fruit and a, a little less ripe in the fruit, but still it's such a crowd pleaser. It's 
about medium in tannin. So you're never going to find Cote de Rhone wines that are just very drying or dusty. They're a little bit um, softer and more approachable and therefore make great uh, wines for crowds, especially if you're having a cocktail party or you're doing a barbecue or any of those summertime things. Um, yeah, this is so good. This wine is called La Vanne de Vienne and it's a collaboration of three of my favorite winemakers in the area, um, Curon, Gaillard, and Viard. And these are three unbelievable winemakers that they're so famous, they make their individual cuvées and their own labels, but then they got together and made this wine, uh, which is just an incredible uh, value. I mean, I can't believe that we can send a wine of this high quality um, in these packs, and it's one of the things that we really, um, we really stress is that every wine that comes to you should be the best of the best. In this case, this is really fun because you get to see 70% Grenache, you get about 25% um, Syrah, and then you get to introduce this grape called Carignan, and 5% Carignan. So this is a typical Cote de Rhone blend. You can see some of the qualities of the Grenache, so you get a little bit of orange in the color, some of the qualities of Syrah, that it's slightly deeper and darker, and um, when you smell it, it's got a little bit of everything. It's that sun-kissed strawberry, that really ripe strawberry, that little bit of orange zest, the black fruit from the Syrah, and then the Carignan just gives it a little bit of texture and a little bit of spice. So you have that. Mm. This one is like having the most um, amazing charcuterie. Like you have a plate full of jamon um, or, or prosciutto and it has that kind of smoked meat or cured meat aroma and then maybe even a little bit of like ra raisinated fruit, you know, dates and figs, but not in a sweet way, more of a ripe way. Mm. It's super smooth and just long lasting and elegant and you're left with that pepper on the back of your tongue which it just makes it a great food wine. I mean, you're thinking, you know, about grilling this summer. This is a wine that you want to bring to your next barbecue. This is Sunshine in a Bottle. It's uh, Domaine Foncros, and you're going to notice that you have two of these wines in your pack. This one is from a region called the Cote de Rhone Village, or Cote de Rhone Villages, and that means that this is a little bit more specific than your typical Cote de Rhone. And in this case, this wine comes from an area called the Rastu. And what I love about this wine and why I put this in the pack is because it's 100% Grenache. So as we're exploring grapes and grapes that are a part of a blend, it's really nice to see, you know, the single expression. So in this uh, particular bottle, um, it's a single vineyard and it's all from six-year-old vines. And this one, you can see that classic Grenache color. And now you don't uh, maybe know what that means, but what it is is like a light, or medium ruby and sometimes has like a slight bit of garnet in it so this one does as well it's a grape that gets early oxidation so sometimes you can see a wine that looks older and it will have garnet in this case it's a young wine but it's super fresh in the nose and I think about Grenache like I said in the past sun-kissed strawberries it's just like the most generous perfectly ripe strawberry that's just about this time of year when they start to come out and then it has all of this pepper spice both like white pepper, black pepper, um, it even has like an herb de Provence or slightly kind of savory quality to it. And then it's all freshened up or like buttoned up with this orange marmalade, like this um, sort of zest. Take a sip. Mm. So this is certainly a Pinot Noir in body, in style it's a little bit riper. So sometimes we don't know where it can be sour or tart, um, like cranberries or raspberries. This one is, like I said, perfect strawberries, like in the peak season. And the texture is silky, and it's about medium bodied, it has some fresh acid at the end, and it's just like unbelievable. It's a total crowd pleaser. It's not gonna disappoint anyone. I wish I could have taken you to the Rhone Valley, you know, literally taken you, but instead we went via the glass we're exploring this beautiful region called the Cote de Rhone, and I think it's one of the most exceptional value wines 
one of the most crowd pleasing, one of the wines that you're just really going to want to reorder either one or not, if not all of these wines. Um, and you know you can do that, right? With the weekly tasting, you can go in um, to your library of wines that you've loved and you can just get the single bottles. It's super cool. I hope you enjoyed.